Chris Cans, Peak Oil Action and Adventure. I wanted to talk about some peak oil current events. Good times, right? On the transportation front, New York City's Mayor Michael Bloomberg's efforts to mandate that all new taxis be hybrid by 2012 was blocked by a federal judge citing that only the federal government has the right to enforce fuel efficiency standards. <laughs> okay, what's next for us? I was thinking about all the energy embodied within a barrel of oil. The energy locked into one barrel of oil is equivalent to five people working 12 hour days nonstop for one year. And what does that make me think of? Damn, are we lucky. <laughs> That's an incredible source of energy. Something we probably shouldn't take for granted. Guess how much oil we use per year? Guess how much? The world, the whole world. We're currently burning through 31 billion barrels of oil per year. The world, 31 billion barrels of oil per year. <laughs> it's a lot. 75 million barrels a day of oil are coming from oil fields that year by year are dropping four to eight percent. Whoa. Which means that we're supporting other countries' economies. So we are currently importing oil from Mexico, Canada, South America, Europe, Africa, and of course the Middle East. May sound altruistic, but really, we're having some financial crises of our own. I know the price has dropped. It's $67 a barrel right now. Um, and yeah, it may seem that there's no problem. There's no problem. It's $67 a barrel. What's the problem? So OPEC, the cartel controlling 40% of the world's oil supply, is cutting production by 1.5 million barrels per day starting November 2008. Let's see what happens. <music>I hear OPAC has to cite OPAC. Two pack OPAC, six pack abs, check them out.